dangerous waste containers, an open and shut case. This is a brief lesson on the difference between open and shut containers, according to Washington State's Dangerous Waste Regulations, Chapter 173-303-WAC. A container holding dangerous waste must always be closed, except when it is necessary to add or remove waste. That seems clear, but the most common dangerous waste violation is a container that is not properly closed. And that can cost your business in penalties and lost work time fixing the problem. So what is closed and what is open? On a drum, it means the ring is fastened, the bung is screwed in tightly, there are no holes, and the drum won't spill anything if it's tipped over. Why should you care about this? An open container of dangerous waste is an accident waiting to happen. Spills are dangerous to you and your co-workers, your neighborhood, and the environment. And spills are expensive to clean up. Besides the risk of spills, containers that are not properly closed can release fumes that can make you sick and even cause organ damage. And it's easier to put the wrong thing in an open container. Mixing certain wastes can start a fire, cause an explosion, or release dangerous gases. When you do the right thing with hazardous waste, you help protect yourself, your workplace, and your job. Let's look at more examples of properly and improperly closed containers. These are in good shape, rings latched, bungs tight, no holes. But is this a closed container? Of course not. How about this? No. Or this? No. According to the label, this is a barrel of flammable waste and it is sitting right over a drain. What do you think can happen? It may take some thought, but there is a way to keep any container closed properly. Is this a closed container? No, the bung is out. Besides being a spill hazard, the open bung makes it easy for dirt, debris, and rain to get into the barrel. The bung must be screwed in completely to properly close the container. Is this a closed container? No, that open funnel is in an open bung. It will spill if it's tipped and it invites pouring any waste into the drum. If you frequently need to add dangerous waste to a container, you can get a funnel with a locking lid. Make it a properly closed container by closing and latching the funnel lid, except when you are actively adding waste. Is this a closed container? No, because the drum ring is loose. Again, it won't help if the drum tips. The drum ring must be fastened down to properly close the container. This is a common open container violation. The bung must be screwed in if you are not actively adding waste to the container. Here's a situation where dangerous waste, in this case xylene, is being added almost continuously. This is considered an open container because the cap is not screwed in. Here's the fix to make it a closed container. The tube is permanently attached to the cap. When the container is full, they switch to an empty one, reusing the same cap and tube setup. Here's another type of lid that makes it more convenient to add waste. The latched lid makes this a properly closed container. This cart system handles used oil from servicing a vehicle. The employee drains the oil from the vehicle right into this cart. This is less likely to spill than carrying the used oil in a bucket or pan. Then the worker rolls the cart to the closed holding tank. A secure hose and nozzle arrangement pumps the oil right into the holding tank. Keeping containers properly closed may not always be convenient, but it is necessary. So keep yourself and your coworkers safe and keep your waste disposal cost down by keeping a lid on it.